Oh, monkeys. Seriously, if another person calls the monkey, I'm Hello, monkey. People calling chimpanzees monkeys. It's the sort of thing that winds people like me right up. But chimpanzees are apes, right? Like us. But what's the difference, really? Apes don't have tails, it's true. But not all monkeys have tails, either. What about large brains compared to body size? Well, capuchin monkeys beat the chimps on that one. Here's one that actually works. Apes, like me and these guys, can reach their arm over the head and touch their ear. A monkey can't do that, their shoulders are built differently. No, you're not a monkey. But why shoulder structure? Why not group primates by some other characteristic like colour or size? Of course, it all comes down to evolutionary relationships, doesn't it? Who is related to who? When we draw our family tree, we can see that we're closely related to chimps and to the orangutans. So we can draw a circle around them and call them hominids or the great apes. But you must include the most recent common ancestor of everyone in the group and critically all the descendants of that common ancestor. So in this case, we have to include the gorillas. This system using evolutionary relationships is called phylogeny and it's the only system that really works. Groups of related animals are called clades and you can't escape from your clade by evolving. Humans and chimps go together in a group called hominini, for instance, but we're also still in a group with the great apes and you can go on back. We're still in primate and mammal clades too. The problem is, way back when, when we named things in English, we didn't always know what the relationships were. It was before we really knew about evolution. And as it turns out, the African and Asian monkeys are much more closely related to chimpanzees and me than they are to the South American monkeys. So if you want to make a group out of the monkeys, you have to include the chimpanzees and me. But you know, the word monkey is not a scientific term and it doesn't have to have a strict biological meaning. We've got a scientific word for the monkeys and apes together. It's simians. If we insisted that all our common English names for animals were grounded in biology, it wouldn't get us anywhere. We'd have to say that snakes are lizards, birds are dinosaurs, and all mammals are also fish too. And that's just not helpful. So while it's helpful to point out that these chimpanzees are apes, and our closest living relatives, when it comes to lumping them and us in with the monkeys, well, a biologist shouldn't give up. They're not monkeys, they're apes. Okay, not everyone's convinced. So next time you're at the zoo, perhaps give the education team a break and don't call the chimpanzees monkeys. It's thanks to the team at Colchester Zoo that I got to film with these non-monkeys and they teach a brilliant module for us at the University of Suffolk. Do support them by visiting or if you're a teacher, ask them about their education programme.